Hello, I'm Trent, AKA O Trademark here, and I have some very exciting news for all of you. If you didn't catch my stream yesterday, I was extremely disappointed and kind of upset at the current state of the game because if you were one of the unfortunate players that logged into the game right at update yesterday, then you would have noticed that you lost all of the passives on your fighters. And um, basically, I had talked to Dyrib and you know he said that they're, they didn't have a way of doing rollbacks and I talked to him about the potential of rollbacks. And at basically yesterday, after I got off stream, I was under the assumption that unless you had video evidence of your inventory, your fighter inventory, you would not be getting your fighter or your passives back on those fighters. So it was a huge, huge bug and huge issue. A lot of players, literally dozens of players messaged me or commented in my stream saying that they were done with the game. They're quitting just, just because of... It's literally one of the worst feelings in the world to feel like your hard work and time and effort that you spent into a game is basically just completely nullified. So any of you that have spent time grinding raid charts or a lot of you also spent Robux on rolling passives, that was basically all nullified. However, uh, if you saw the announcements that were posted in the Anime Fighters Discord today, um, as soon as my tiny task goes out of this thing right here, I'll show you guys. Essentially, Dyrub has been working on a... Uh, a way to revert your data, your fighter inventory. So I'm not gonna actually read this announcement here. In fact, I'm actually just going to stop this and I'm just gonna show you. So it's it was just pushed live into the game a few moments ago. And you'll see this little recycle button here. If you click on that, it's gonna say, are you sure you want to revert your data? This will reset your fighter data, including passives, incubators, teams and the limit breaker to what it was before the update you will lose any new units you've gained or levels on old units are you sure you want to continue with this so obviously this is not something you want to do if you were not logged in during the update and you didn't lose your passives just ignore that just click the hide button right here and ignore that this button even exists but if you were one of the unfortunate players like me who lost all of your passives, then you click revert, it will go back to that prior time. And if you have, if you were still playing, so if you didn't quit and you've been playing since yesterday, let's say that you got some of the new world units, like see all these shiny secrets right here that I have? Those are ones that I've obtained since yesterday. If I was to revert right now, I would lose all of these, uh, all of these shiny secrets. So, Instead of uh, one thing that you might want to consider is recording a video of any new units that you got from the new world. What is it? Time Travel Tokyo. So you might want to record any of these new units that you have, okay? Uh, and record a video of this and then, then do the revert because the Anime Fighter staff has said that they are, they are debating whether they'll do restore requests for um, for new units that you've attained. Initially, they said they would do restore requests for these, and that now they're kind of backtracking. They said they they're going to discuss some stuff, but uh, it is possible at at least at the very least you should record it just in case if you got anything good that uh, anything new any new fighters like a new secret new divine um or just important units to you that you've gotten since the update yesterday record a video of that and then try and fill out a restore request after doing the revert process um you might not get those back but it you know they were considering it so that's better than nothing and all in all this is just the really really good news because this bug was arguably the biggest bug that has occurred in anime fighters and one of the most detrimental as well. I had, like I said, I had lots of messages from players that were uh, debating quitting. And this, 
button that has now been implemented or this process is not only good news for this to future proof us from potential bugs in the future but it also future proofs us from any of the data store loss issues that we have for roblox the same process should work for those scenarios so i'm not really sure how the snapshots work if it's going to be a snapshot like every every other you know every update or every mini update or what but the idea is that if you if there's a data store loss issue in the future hopefully we'll be able to revert back to a period of time prior to the data store loss issue which will be an i mean that's just almost i feel like that is just like a requirement for games because like i said losing all of your pros, progress in a game is just the worst feeling in the world so it's good to know that that uh we'll have some protection against this in the future uh what was that ghostly unit they just got um i don't think we can did he fix searching with passes okay he fixed that so um essentially right now we Uh, we basically got the fix for this. The only other thing I really wanted to mention with this really quickly is is something I'm going to do a full video on the limit break machine so you guys can get some information on that. But just so you know, I've seen a lot of players making this mistake right here. Okay, they because this machine is not very intuitive. A lot of players are putting a unit with a good passive on the left and a unit with a good passive on the right. That is not how this machine works. The only passive and level that you will maintain out of these three is the one in the middle. So you wanna make sure that it's your highest level fighter of the three and the one with the best passive or the best traits in the middle. That's the only one that is, you're going to keep. I have talked to Dyrev about this because I do agree that it's not intuitive and hopefully in the future he changes it so that it does merge the passives from the right and left. Um, like, basically I told him that you should keep the level and the passive in the middle, and then it should take, if there's a second passive on the sides, it should take that. And if there's three passives, if all three of them has passes, it should take the one in the middle and then a random on the sides. But uh, that's just what I suggested to him because I do agree that this process is not very intuitive. Just don't make the same mistake as other players and put a bunch of important units in here. The way that it, this really should work is that you're essentially should only be focusing on um, units that also I don't think there's a cancel that the cancel was broken yesterday. Oh, crap. <laughs> Maybe he fixed it. Uh, but I just lost all the Robux that I've been invested into that. So I didn't actually want to do that. Um, but <laughs> there is no confirmation button on the cancel button. Keep that in mind. He has fixed it so that you'll get your units back. It looks like you can cancel, but you will lose any of the time invested into that. And I also spent a bunch of Robux to speed that process up. So I, I'm just going to lose those Robux essentially. Um, but just don't make this mistake, okay? So you, you want to put in whatever units your highest level and then on the sides, you just want two trash. I mean, they're shiny. They're going to be shiny of the same unit, but uh, they shouldn't have passives and stuff on them. So anyways, that's what it, more what it should look like when you're actually fusing into this. Just your best level, your best passive in the middle. These two should pretty much just be passiveless until a potential change comes. I will let you guys know that that's happening. Um, yeah, in the meantime, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um... Happy Easter. This is really good news for the update, and I'm excited. I'll hopefully, I'm not going to be streaming more this week, but I will hopefully have a lot more videos that uh, I'm working on. I just need to edit for this week. So, anyways, guys, Malo Alpito, thanks for watching, and uh, peace. I'm out of here.